Hello everybody and welcome to yet another mind-blowing episode of We Start 2022 Stronger. Oh, guys, today, I need to kumbula last time, we spoke about debts and deductions and we unpacked everything and of course I'm sure you remember all your, you know, what you took home. Uh, today we are talking about the things that make our families go cuckoo, the claims. You know when you lose a loved one and then there's a process of claiming and then you know when you claim from your insurer and they take time and you go crazy it's like you want to take the phone and you say somebody died and I need the money tomorrow morning and it doesn't happen it takes seven days that's what we're going to be talking about today but anyway you know I am never alone in the kitchen I've got Oh, Chef Lindsay and Chef Pizzi. And of course, yes, I'm having you one. I'm having you professionals. I'm an expert. I'm going to be a young kid. I'm a But today, I've got new faces. Hello, my beautiful new faces. Hello. Please introduce yourself and tell me where you at, where you from, how many dogs you have. <laughs> do you have insurance? Of course we do. <laughs> I'll go first. Uh, my name is Karabo Ramachako and I'm from Soweto. I'm very much pleased to join you guys today. <laughs> so um, I've got insurance cover. I've got insurance cover and I'm a consumer to one of the major banks. I've got two different um, types of um, policies um, which cover for different purposes. So I'm looking forward to 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 chatting with you with of everyone course. yes getting to engage on different levels of course hi this is Nomsa. Uh, my name is Lebukhan Ditlopo uh, I'm from north of Jobek mm -hmm. uh, I'm an entrepreneur I'm a consumer in the, one of the major banks in the insurance industry Thank you. Okay, and my beautiful ex you always join him. Yazinina, Shem, loyal Tila. Yeah, the love yeah. is real. <laughs> yeah, please, can you um, reintroduce yourself for somebody who just joined us? You know, My name is Gerald Mondiambira, and I'm a certified financial planning professional. Um, I'm an entrepreneur as well. Um, I'm an author, but I'm also a father, a husband, and I'm a person. So, <laughs> so I think it's important that when you say experts, you realize that some of the expertise comes from being in the trenches as a normal person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'm Kay, guys. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer, but I'm also a YouTuber. And I make videos helping young people learn how to make money online, um, increase their revenue sources. So yeah, that's my passion. Hi, it's your favorite corporate bay, mm -hmm. um, but also I am Snazo Kalago, and um, I head up the complaints department um, for Metropolitan. And um, so that's where we see all our lovely, weird, and wonderful um, queries from our wonderful clients. And um, so here today, we just wanted to debunk some of some, um, you know, insurance norms, um, things that we see in the industry, and we're hoping that you guys will take a learning from it. Um, you know, today we're going to be talking about claims norms, so we'll go into that. And yeah, we're here to learn from you guys, and hopefully you guys will also get something from us too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have to tell them, we've got food in the house. She's a good host. Yeah, la la la, I mean, I feed you. I don't owe you, you know, you know, give you information. I, I, I feed you. And we have um, our lovely chefs behind me. Chef Lindsay. Yes, ma'am. But we'll cook okay. Hey, yeah. yeah. Mm. Hello, Hello, Chef Lindsay. We're great. Uh, my name is Chef Lindsay, and I'm a chef. and. Uh, a Post a pre banker before. Oh, okay. yes. yes. In my old life. I'm a retired banker, rather. Um, and then now. So the money is too much. Yeah. And the understanding of the money and how to get to it oh. is just there. Okay. It's just there. Now I'm impl implement implementing what I learned from banking into my. Now I'm a self employed person. I'm a freelancer as well. So I'm using all that business acumen from my past life and this life now. And I hope you guys enjoy the food today. Mm. Yeah, we drinks. <laughs> drinks. See, see, drinks. Yabona. You know, just to quench the thirst. You know, while waiting for the drinks, guys, today we are talking about something very, very important. Yo! So, Kulmanga, my claims. 
you know when we speak about claims mm. there's something like that that comes to my mind yapelia e a time you know when you have to claim you must know that you've loaded a time because hey there's this music in the background <laughs> and you don't know whether to dance to it or to what you don't know but the only thing that you want you want to speak to somebody who will understand you that you're going through a very difficult time i mean you just lost a loved one and then the process okay why is it a problem why is it a pain to claim money from your insurer when you are facing the time of need um, I would say it, it shouldn't be and you totally are correct it shouldn't be and um, the, there are reasons as to why there are sometimes delays or you know sometimes claims do get rejected and I think that's why today is such an important topic where we get to learn can claims be rejected we're looking at things mm. like um, they can be rejected for mm. waiting periods um, but as for Metropolitan we what we're trying to do now is to actually make that process easier when it comes to claims because I mean that is the crux of our business that is when we want to um, you know in our previous episode I said when you choose an insurer you choose a partner and we want to be the perfect partner for you mm. especially at that time claims is the end of the journey but we need to understand the process because a lot of people have problems when claiming because they never understood how it all works. So normally when you go and you take out any policy, there's, there's three things you need to understand. There's a policy holder, who's the owner of the policy. There's the payer, who's the person who pays for the policy. And there's the insured person whose policy is on. So sometimes Nomsa, you are the policy holder, you are the payer, and you're the insured because it's yours, okay? But sometimes I'll take out a policy on a family member. So I'll be the policy holder. I might be paying for it, but the insured person is someone else. But then also in some instances, you have different setups where there's a different policy holder, different payer, and a different person insured. So that's number one. Understand yeah. the three people in the three pers persons involved in a policy. Mm. Then when you take out that policy, they normally have this thing which Nazo mentioned, it's called a waiting period. A waiting okay. Period. Now, waiting period means that for any policy to actually start working, you have to wait. Now, some policies have waiting periods of six months, sometimes it's 12 months. It means that a certain type of event, if it happens during the waiting period, the policy might not pay. Okay, so normally with a funeral policy, there's a waiting period where you have to pay a certain number of payments, which are called premiums. Okay, before that policy is now active. No, it's now activated. It's like when you go and you buy a SIM card. It doesn't always switch on. It's not working when you get it. It's got no signal. You need to phone and activate it. So your insurance policy is activated after its waiting period. And that's when it's now, the, in fancy language, they call it, it's now in force. It's now working, okay? So many problems with claiming come from not understanding the personalities. Because some people claim and think the policy was theirs. It's my policy. I want my money you know or sometimes you get somebody who's the payer but he's not the insured person so we need to unpack all those things so that we all understand that typically for example in a funeral policy um, the policy holder and owner can be paying for family members okay but that policy will only pay after a it's in force so the waiting period was met and b the insured person has really died or Things have happened which mean that that policy needs to pay. I want to know whether, has anyone had like a personal thing that you've experienced um, your insurance when you claim? Uh, uh, Nomsa, you know, I just want to put it out there so that everyone would understand. Uguti, Mautata e insurance, yes. whether it's funeral, whether e life, life. Um, you need to put as a, a business a sense of relief to your client. Number one, Uktata e policy, you have to take it as a risk because of what we are unpacking today. It goes back to Lentole Yamat claims. Uguti, Uzoe Patali policy yako, and then in an event whereby anything should happen, whether you are within that period, waiting period, or you are activated mm. on it 
the reality is uzofuna ukuthi imali uyithola yeah i understand mm. so majority of us when 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 you you have that uh, policy um we don't read the document uh, to the end uh, you would assume ukuthi i've been paying at times you get to a point you would see um a debit order it didn't go through because of imali being echo and then sasa kwenzakalani umuntu uyashona and then you you still want to go and claim and then mababuya um they they not gonna pay they not gonna pay so so reality is um we need we, we need to 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 say as see band uh let's 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 have that relationship with our clients mm. let's have that relationship with with your insurer yes. there's there should be that communication um let 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 the process be smooth yes and i think what you're touching on is something which we spoke about in the last episode which is accountability yeah so the insurance company um like metropolitan are accountable to you because you know you, you got a policy of 30,000 for funeral or maybe it's 3 million for your life you want your money when something happens but your accountability as the client is if you change your cell phone number let them know if you move let them know all that is in the policy wording because when you don't let them know that's when problems happen so when your debit order did not go through they sent it to your old cell phone number Carabo, you never play it. Yeah. And you miss two debit orders, the policy lapses, which means it cancels itself. Okay? And that happens a lot. You know, a person doesn't even realize this thing is now no longer in force because they change cell phone numbers and they never told the insurer. Okay? And then when there's a problem here, it's, it's an evil plot, I've been paying money. No. Your responsibility as a client, let them know when you move. Let them know when when uh, life situation changes you know and and we you know even if it's a life policy for example and you want to claim life policy has things they call exclusions which are things which if you do you must tell the insurance company that i've taken up skydiving you know i've taken up a, a i'm now smoking weed all these things have impact on your claim Okay, there's a famous case a few years ago where uh, somebody died and, and they, they, they hadn't told the insurance company about their health status at the beginning. Those questions they ask you, they're not for fun. Tell the truth. Has any family member uh, died of diabetes, blood pressure, heart attack, um, cancer? Because they want to know because it helps them to calculate your premium. Mm. So a lot of the problems when claims don't go trust me and believe it's always because there was misinformation at inception which is the beginning of the policy or there was misinformation at the end in terms of somebody tried to pull a fast one okay so my challenge for example for usinazo and her team is how quickly do you pay because when i'm grieving the last thing i want to hear is go find this document and go find that document one of the questions i've always asked is why don't insurance companies just talk to home affairs why do you make it my problem you know when i've gone and reported the death can't you phone home affairs and say this person are they alive or not because you know i think it's sometimes you know i will go go and people who are frail catching taxis to go to offices it's unfair and we don't have fax machines in our house you know, the average house doesn't have a scanner, you know, maybe because your corporate bay you do, but I don't. But I get that you want to decrease the admin and for us as insurers, um, it's definitely a conversation that we should look into building, um, you know, into our, our products. Um, but also just to um, add on to what you guys were saying, um, with the claims, you know, we asked is essentially was why is it you know um sometimes so strenuous to get a claim to be processed and as you guys have mentioned there's disclosures um you know there's exclusions we have to look at your premiums whether they were paid i think Lebo yes. mentioned oh, that yes. as well and then you know something that is and obviously we've mentioned waiting periods but also something that is really now have come up and you know we've always abide um by popia but now we need to get consent 
Um, and if you look at some of our uh, demographic, mm. we've got Ugogo is the beneficiary, yes. for example, but Ugogo cannot speak English. And, you know, when as her granddaughter, you are calling us now, yes. or else sometimes you get drastic cases uh, that, you know, my mom has dementia. What must we need to get? Mm. So now that's not going to take 10 minutes. Mm. Do you understand? And then it will need, we will try to assist you as best as we can because now we need to find somebody that is so to speaking and then you see to go go we are mas you know so, so we get woman who has it, I mean, you know sometimes no 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 so i'm just saying maybe in the case that your grandmother cannot speak english that oh. one and then with the hey. dementia one then yes, we would need true. to you know get sort of um a law of authority we need oh. the person we it needs to okay. go the legal route where we get that person but then we empathize with them and we mm. say um is there anything that you can provide us in the meantime you know we try to get the processing working so that when we get um, the, the the documents that we receive we then we just like okay yes. here it is we go so we get many many cases and it's um, subjective to each and every case that we do receive um but then there are that list of things and Lebo said something very important that you need to read you need to read um you know and understand your your product that you have taken whether it's life insurance or funeral you need to understand it and you need to know what are you going to do what is going to be expected come at um you know at claim time um so that we can actually work together do your family members know that they're insured you know there's a thing in our families i can't say like in our families when somebody is sick and they start you know getting sick you go now you might insurance but they don't know is that is there any transparency maybe are you so, transparent so for me yeah um obviously my immediate family yeah. would have to be my mom and my dad because i'm not married as yet <laughs> so yes um i had to like um check which one i trust the most yes. so i had to nominate my mother because um not that i'm saying that my dad is not as important but i had to check um who is more responsible who's responsible, who's responsible who's enough yeah. if you get what i mean yeah. so i and i was very honest to both of them just after nominating i came back to them because remember when you nominate you have to get their particulars their ids and so they would ask you but uh, well, why, what, what's this for why do you want my id you know and as much as they trust me with their ids and obviously their private um Stuff, mm -hmm. I had to, to sit them down to say that should anything happen, please note that um, I've nominated mom for such and such reasons. And it, 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 it makes things easier. I think it makes things easier because yes. should anything happen, they know who is the beneficiary, yes. you know? And the beneficiary will have to play their role in that regard, should yeah. anything happen, because life is not certain. So, so it's important. Um, it's a double-edged sword. You know, we've also had in instances where people commit crimes for insurance. I think there's a lady who was sentenced recently for taking out policies on all her family and then killing them one by one. Okay, so it's, it's a double-edged sword. As much as you want openness and transparency, um, one of the ways you can ensure that happens is simply have a will. When you have a will which documents some of these things, it helps. Okay. It's one of the industry problems also right now, which is consent. Because for you to take out a life policy or funeral policy on me, I need to know about it. Mm. But in many families, you know people who just take out policies on, an en on anyone. When somebody dies, there's a, there's a, phone, a phone call from someone who never calls the family. And when you pick up the phone they and want it's the death and mark, yeah. it's your death certificate. Yes. And you're like, you yes. want the death certificate. They have a policy on that person. Yes. And what happens is they get paid 30,000 and they okay. go and give you 500. Oh. Oh, okay. So, so, so <laughs> a, a funeral or insurance policy is not lotto. Not the lotto where you are picking lotto on sick members of the family. Sick, let me you know? go at so, them. so we need to realize that's another reason why claims sometimes take longer, mm. because sometimes the insurance companies have systems in place where they can they can pick up a fraudulent claim pretty mm. easily. Signatures, something's just not right. So to wrap it up, because um, I, I I I know everybody. I know Gerald. You've got 
so many things to. I, I, I'm sure there's an essay. You know how essay for what? When I'm like, not even name to lap behind it. I'm typing. I'm typing. I'm coming. I'm coming. But um, all in all, taking you know wrapping it up. Um, we need to be, to, be, uh, to be transparent with our family members who are in short. We need to let everybody know, like and when you when you when you change your your address, whatever, be be transparent with your insurer. You know, it is in jalo. So, lebushi loati understand your your contract. When you know what you're getting yourself into, if you, you don't understand anything, ask. Because the problem is the, the pride of not, you know, I, I want to ask, but I don't want them to think that I don't understand mm. English. Hey, nah. <laughs> English is not our mother. So if you don't understand, you just say, hey, no, I don't understand. Can you please go to uh, number five? What does number five mean? Whatever. So your insurer is like, you know, that it gives you that, that, that peace of mind. So before getting that peace of mind, you must have peace understanding the, the black and white. I just also, sorry, no, I'm sorry to mm. cut you off. I just also want to add that the insurer does want to pay, guys. Um, just in the, uh, our financial year, the first six months actually um, of our financial year for 2022, we've paid 640 million. I'm leaving out the extra numbers because yeah. I don't. It's almost 640 million in six months. And that is we including things like disability cover because you, as you know, some of your funeral covers you can build in. There's certain products, oh. you know, now we've got your cash back as well. So that also includes that it's not just funeral, but how some of our products actually work as well. So 640 million and that is in, you know, six months. I actually like that you brought it up because as customers, we have, um, when it comes to insurance, I don't know if I could say, I should say it's a misconception or what, but we just, um, we've always seen it as the insurance company is always looking for a reason to decline a claim or to reject it rather. But now that you've clarified and you've just also added with stats with the previous years, I think it's very much important, yes, that we also um, learn, from, learn from what you have um, raised because honestly, we, we, we end up concluding on ourselves, on our mm. own, thinking that um, they just don't want to pay our No, they, they want to pay. And I think it's important to understand that the South African insurance industry is very healthy, mm. okay? So they have this thing they call capital adequacy, okay? Which means that if your insurance company should have to pay every single claim, maximum amount today, do they have enough money to cover it? And the insurance industry in South Africa generally has three to four times the amount of money to pay every single claim. So if everyone in Metropolitan claimed tonight, they probably have two or three times the amount of money to pay out. So it's not about them not wanting to pay, it's about them wanting to pay honest people who yeah. fully disclose, disclose everything when they started. Mr. Chef. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to disclose that into a truthful appetite of flame, that's the guy. Oh, what's the deal? Since it's Linda Wayne, eh? Linda Wayne, that's the guy. No, I'm hearing the chat is going so nice. Yeah, my chat. We have a chat. Yes, my chat. Yes, my chat. Today we have, you guys are speaking about very soft topics, you know, sad topics, you know, uh, depending on the policy you have. But I like to think of claims as, you know, something that we can celebrate. Because it means that somebody was thoughtful enough for the beneficiaries to save for them when something happens. Whether it's, it's kids' uh, annuity or life plan, whatever it is. It means that like somebody out there, a loved one, saved money for you. So, as as chablen. You know what I mean? Let's celebrate. So the first meal we're going to have is a celebration of vegetables. Uh, some are pickled, some are raw, some are roasted. Um, yeah, it's literally, I call the veg patch. So when you look at it, you're going to see all the vegetables in the world on that veg patch. So you're going to see soil, you're going to see some courgettes, some uh, cauliflower, all in different forms. Some pureed, some raw, some, you know what I mean? So now I want you guys to actually literally play with it and see what you see there. And there will also be some soil. And what does a good vegetable need? Some rainwater. <laughs> so right at the end, some rainwater on top. What's always running around in a vegetable? Chicken. Chicken! Yay! Yay! Oh, 
Hey, like the coach and me was like, soil and vegetables. Were you guys all waiting for? When is the meat coming? Yeah, when is the meat coming? Yeah. 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 Okay, don't worry. There's meat today. It's chicken. Great. Yes. Okay. Mm, take a picture. Oh yeah. So also, it's too many lessons. Insta. Mm. Insta ready? Eh? <laughs> Wow, what a plate of vegetables. <laughs> you know, Chef Lindsay has something, guys. You know, he made me eat vegetables. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. With soil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and sand. I ate sand. Wow. Uh, Chef Lindsay, we're not number one, but two. You almost want to take him home, seriously. Like, you just want to take Are him home. Are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> <laughs> Are you opening up? Yeah. <laughs> confess, confess. Yes. Today, you know, we spoke about the claiming process and all of that. You know, what's your take, you know, after this powerful uh, conversation? You know, Sis Nomsa, what I think stands out for me and is really important is, especially as a young person, maybe you just started working, you often think that these things are matters that you should only concern yourself with once you're older or you have kids. But I like what Gerald was mentioning and showed us earlier that you're never going to save that amount of money. It's going to take you 184 years or whatever the calculation is to save that amount of money. And so what I like is the power of these policies that they, with just that small premium, you're able to make sure that your loved ones are taken care of yeah. in case of an emergency, make sure you you're taken care of in case of anything that might happen. So I think that as young people, we like to think, ah, I'm only 20, I'm only 21. Let me not worry about that for now. But one thing is the power of compound interest as well, right? That some of these policies will accrue over many, many years and you'll end up with so much money at the end of it. So I just want young people to not think that wills and funeral plans are for people that are much older. Let's start these things now as, as young as we are so that you know they're able to help us in times of trouble or even, even in good times, they're able mm. to come through for us. Mm. That's oh, definitely oh. great. And I think just to um, add on to that, in terms of the digital space that we are currently moving into, um, we have so many platforms that can actually accommodate our much younger, um, you know, clientele where, you know, there's this adult thing that we don't want to do, which, you know, in the olden days, it means if you want a policy now, let me go to the branch yeah. or if I want. But now it's as simple as going onto our website. It's as simple as sending us, you know, a WhatsApp chat. You don't have to be a metropolitan client to be able to send us a WhatsApp chat and say, OK, listen, I'm interested. And then we are able to then, you know, provide you with a financial advisor and give you the different tools tools and um, you know a financial advisor would then be able to show our young people what products you know would be more aligned with them and what they want to do so you know with all those digital platforms I think it's it's great for them it's much more easier for them to actually start joining and you know become financially savvy or financially stronger just to go with the theme of celebrations and you know summer's a really good time for celebrating people are out people are happy the sun's out you know the fruits the colors you know it's just it's a different vibe altogether so what we have for you is um, a coconut puddle with uh, pistachio ice cream and just summer fruits just to you know like you said with the claim celebrations colors it's it's yeah it's really it's a good Visually amazing, taste-wise amazing. Aha. Enjoy. <laughs> now, Zamar, you know, you know the, the language of the co co coconut and the what's what, or the yeah, Kota, it's fruit. Mm -hmm. And but from private school, mm. yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, guys, um, um, you know, usually when we have um, um, conversations, I, I would like to ask my people, what is it that you take home, you know? What is it that in the conversation you said, like, oh my God, I didn't know that. Now I know. So what is it that you, you, you take home? Uh, my takeaway is that as customers, it's very much important that we, we are transparent to our insurer. Um, because I believe it's more like a relationship. We need to be transparent one way and or the other. So it is very much important that should you have any um, 
information that needs to be updated, it's, it, it is very important that it is done. Because according to the contract that you have signed, it has already been clearly explained to you that should there be any changes on the agreement or on the contract, you need to advise us to avoid um, having your claim being declined. Clients need to understand what they are getting themselves into. <clears throat> I think that's that's very important, mm -hmm. and um, you must also know Uguti, what the product knowledge, the product knowledge as well. That uh, what are the benefits? I'm glad you took all these things in because a claim is really the the end part of a policy. Many people never see a claim yeah. because they stop paying along the way. They stop paying premiums. They let the debit order stop. So the very few people experience a claim. And that's the best part of the insurance policy. That's when you see it works. Yeah. So in order for you to experience that best part, just remember that your insurance policy is a legal document. So you need to understand exactly what you said, what you're getting yourself into, and what are your benefits, and what are your responsibilities. We need to stop blaming the insurance company for all the problems. You need to be accountable to know that when I took this thing out, I also had obligations. So if you want to experience a claim, just honor the, the terms and conditions of the contract. Mm -hmm. and, and when you start experiencing claims, people start enjoying and understanding the power of insurance in terms of it having a multiplier effect, um, especially when, when a, an, an uncertain event occurs. I just want to say, I think everyone has actually, you know, summarized everything um, quite so good. And I'm glad that we were able to have this chance to have this conversation that um, basically we are not your enemy as the insurer. We are not your enemy and we are actually your friend. We, we are your friend and we actually want to be that friend in a time of need. And the claims stage should actually not be the hardest stage. That should be the easiest stage. And that's why we wanted to have this chance that, okay, how can we now make it easier? What do you need to look out for? Which now, you know, we've had the discussions, what in, in, in your contract specifically should you look at? You should look at your waiting period. You should look at your disclosures that you made. You should look at what are the exclusions. You should look at even how long does it pay out? Because sometimes we do stipulate, you know, for some RA, a products that we have we say it can take up to 40 days but you will miss that because you didn't read it but it has been in your contract and for some of our funerals we say okay 24 hours and it's there and you know as we said we are making the research we are doing the research we do want to be better for our client you know as much as we want to make you stronger but metropolitan is always looking at ways and how can we improve and i think essentially that is why we thought let's have this lunch let's talk about it from your perspective what can we do better because we are looking into the different types of technology we are constantly looking at our market and our clients and thinking how can we do better how can we make this a seamless process when it comes to claims um, so definitely and I want to highlight that it is a partnership as you guys have said it's mm. like choosing your partner and I mean when you choose your significant other you don't just go oh it's all right no you look at the eyes the nose you know tall dark handsome or whatever and which is the same you know um, a diligence that you should look at your your contracts or your relationship with your insurer that look at tick every box make sure you understand and the door is literally and this is maybe sounds like a cliche but we we want to hear from you we want to hear from you we want to know what is our client thinking and we definitely always want to do better um, in terms of whether it's just our service in general but especially um, at claims at claim time we Start Stronger campaign is about, you know, helping you to build your financial muscle so that you are, you are financially uh, clever. You know, knowledge is power. Every day I learn something. Gerald, you know what? I don't mean that to you. I don't want to take you home. But <laughs> I, 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 I need to get to ditch when I have a problem or a claim or a corporate pay. Website, when I have things to ask you, I know what you, you are just next to me. And it now, we want to know what you what are you thinking? They want to know. Metropolitan wants to know what you, what's your thoughts? Because at the end of the day, guys, we grow together. Organization.
thank you very much for being part of our lunch. And can I host? I mean, can you please raise your glasses? The hostess mm. with the hostess. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. Guys, I'll see you on the next episode when we start stronger together. Yeah. Yeah.